Thank you. The main character in the movie has special abilities that allows him to get from point A to point B in a matter of seconds. He practices mastering his powers in the park where no one's around. When he finally gets the hang of it, he uses Google Images as a weapon and pictures let him transport wherever he wants to go. It's gotta be the worst thing in the world to have the most freedom and still be the biggest prisoner at the same time. He lives a life of solitude and tries to stay under the radar. Powers like this tend to attract attention though. He's being hunted by a madman. The madman finds a clue at the last crime scene and it leads him to the main character's hideout. He's all calm like I just want to ask you some questions or whatever. But as soon as the hero says no comment, the bad guy tears up the place. He goes on the run. Running makes you tired so he pulls over for a drink break. Once again, he sucks at keeping a low profile, so he ends up in a bar fight. Enemies of my enemies are my friends. The main character agrees and teams up with a partner to make this a road trip movie. They take the scenic route cross country and come up with a plan. One of the partner's girlfriends is sick and tired of his lies and breaks up with them. He goes to the house to explain to her that he was ignoring her for a good reason, and it's a real serious matter. At first, she doesn't want to hear all that, but after a while, her stupid self drinks the Kool-Aid and joins the team. They go on top of the city's tallest building, and that's when the action starts. The one with the powers jumps off the building, and by the way his feet was wobbling, I doubt he's about to land on them. He uses his powers to break his fall. It's a good thing he survives too, because he's able to teleport the girl while she's being attacked by the villain. With all the innocent bystanders out of the way, it's a cage match basically. The final fight scene hurts your head because they keep jumping from location to location. Surprisingly, the human is a better opponent than expected, and the fight drains the hero's power. He's out of it, but when he wakes up, the hero has the same look in his eye Clark had at the end of the Man of Steel movie, but he doesn't kill. He leaves the villain behind to die of natural causes instead. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comments section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>